What's up, everybody? Roger Goggles 43 here. Welcome to the stream, game 11. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm very excited. I think I've figured out the root cause of the problems I've been having, at least with my capture card. So, you know, I've been having all sorts of problems lately. Should have brought more stuff back with me from the future. Um, but at any rate, yo, Spitz the Great, what's up? Um, so it appears that the capture card needs to warm up, which is contrary to everything that I understand about electronics. I thought they all worked better when they were cold, uh, but this, uh, this apparently not so. I turned it on an hour ago and the color issues were happening when I turned it on. Now it's fine. Go figure. Let's take a quick look at the leaderboards and as we do that, see what to expect from Seattle here tonight. Um, if anything. Uh, Tony Massenberg rising in the field goal percentage. Uh, had an old tube TV that needed to warm up. This is great. I guess that's that's a good point. I don't really know what to show you. Oh, but yeah. Do you think there is an old tube TV in here? That's what. Uh, it could be. Otherwise, it was just a solid line across the TV that wouldn't show an image. Yeah, this one, it's a. Uh, I'm tempted to turn it on at some point, other than I don't know when or if it would go away, but it's just like the colors cycle through, like the NBA logo flashes red and green. Have it slap the side of the TV and the image would appear. It was real old school. Yes, if this were larger and less fragile, um, I might want to do the same. So uh, Hersey Hawkins, don't want to follow him. Shooting really well free throws. Although this free throw percentage across the league is pretty bad. 70% gets you onto the leaderboard. Doesn't seem ideal. Uh, Detlef Schrempf and Hersey Hawkins, uh, two on the charts, three point shooting. So like Golden State, that's not a good sign. Of course, we have two as well on our part. Sean Kemp leading the league in offensive rebounds, or tied with Dennis Rodman. Force on the best. 70% is bad. Well, for, for free throws, it is, yeah. There's nobody catching you. Um, 90 is great. Um, I would consider anything below 80 to be not great, but at least from, from an individual level, from a team level. Right, free throws. Exactly. So there's Kemp again on the leaderboards for defensive rebounds. So we were going to get out rebounded. Now, this is the part that I want to focus on. Uh, notice. Oh, free throws. Yeah, not, not three point cuts. No, 70% would be astonishing. So, um, as this is a realistic basketball simulation, you can see uh, Damon Stoudemire, our point guard, number four in the league for block shots. David Robinson pulled ahead a little bit um, since the last game. But this is our goal for the night. I am going to player log Damon Stoudemire, and we are going to try to move him this week up to number one. If we can pass to Kemba Matumbo. Maybe we can bring up the steals too, why not? Uh, Nate McMillan, of course, and Gary Payton. Very realistic. Oh boy, yeah, we're doing this. Gary Payton also up there for assists. And we're back around the points per game. Let's check out, I don't actually know. So Seattle in real life won 64 games. Uh, this is, I think it was 64. Or someone will fact check me if I'm incorrect on that. Um, and made it to the NBA Finals, uh, ultimately losing to the Bulls at six. Yeah, eight and three, so they're off to a very strong start. Not undefeated by Golden State, of course, but you know, that's good for third place in the West at the moment. So I think that's, oh yeah, setting rosters. The thing I always forget to do. If the Stoudemire is already starting, so that's good. Got our lineup in which he excels. So before we get started, uh, as always, 10% of any proceeds from tonight's stream go to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Uh, they do research into curing macular degeneration, pediatric eye diseases, all sorts of good stuff, uh, creating a world without goggles. So if you want to support them directly, there's a direct donation link um, in my profile. Um, or, uh, like it shows here, anything I make uh, tonight, 10% goes to them. I see, I finally figured out how to see uh, how many viewers I have, but not who they are. So I see there's two other viewers not in the chat. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, say hello. Since this game, how many teams has the league added? Uh, one. So this was the last major expansion, Toronto and Vancouver for the 95-96 season. And then since this game, the Charlotte Hornets moved to New Orleans. 
Um, and then Charlotte got an expansion team later um, for the, I think 0506 was their first season, uh, something like that. And then they bought the Hornets name and history back from the, um, uh, back from the New Orleans team. So they are the newest team, but not the newest team. One of those weird situations. Yeah, there's 29 teams in the league at this point, even 30 now. I like those odds. Jerry Payton, first all-time great player there. Ricky Hawkins. Got left shrimp. Sean Kemp, another all-star. And Irvin Johnson, not to be confused with Irvin Magic Johnson. Completely different guy. There's our guy, Damon Stoudemire, looking almost as tall as Sean Kemp. Realistic basketball simulation. Dale Ellis, veteran leadership. Lionel Simmons. Ed Pinckney, power forward. I believe came out of his shell once he started moving to power forward. And big O, Oliver Miller center. Looks like it's a player locked down the power forward again. Alright. Uh, so, switch to the strategy here. You all can enjoy these beats. Got to keep the pressure on. Let's uh, switch the ball. Get that player lock going. I will say, as much as I do generally prefer retro games, the uh, user experience on the modern ones does tend to be much better. Beats, often worse. Let's see, can Damien shoot the three tonight? Not so far. So that's another interesting thing. Uh, Stoudemire um, is a decent outside shooter, but not spectacular. Um, In real life as well as in the game so we might see him move up and assist a little bit there it is all right there we go fast break three Woo! That bucket purchased for us by Dr. Ambassador Dortmund. Thank you, Dr. Ambassador. Support. If you'd like to support, buy a bucket for yourself and for all of us, check out my Patreon. Oof. I may, of course, have to face the grim reality that the AI may actually be better than I am at blocking shots. So we'll find out. Has Seattle missed a shot yet? Here.
the hooks. No, get that rebound, Ed Pigney. That was a close one. I almost thought Sean Kemp was going to do a, a Sean Kemp thing to us. All right, need some action here. Three, zero. All right. Nope, get that rebound, Oliver. Uh. That's why we are not approaching the rebound charts anytime soon. Oh. Ah. Oof. Take that all the way in, Miller. Nice. How are you doing, Spitz? Is great. Good weekend. Real good. Nice. Simmons with the rebound. Ugh. Simmons with the bad pass that I asked him to make. I have shed you three. I can die fulfilled. There you go. Only took, what, 15 years? 16 years? Nice. 18 years since Shenmue 2. There you go. Shenmue 2 can vote. Smoke cigarettes. Well, I think it probably was smoking cigarettes even before. Yeah, but it won't. too far ahead. Ugh. Darn it. That was my chance to block that shot. Three. This is a little dangerous getting into this hole because uh, even Stoudemire is not Dale Ellis. He's certainly not Tracy Murray. He's been shooting okay from outside this game, but it's not going to be able to just rain threes at will. Ooh, that was pretty. Nate McMillan. <laughs> Shem, you could vote, but they're too busy Instagramming and FaceTiming and smoking the marijuana. Hmm. I don't know. I'm more optimistic about the kids today. Let's take that all the way in. It's down my roof layup. Oof. Dang. Could have gotten the steal there. Instead, I didn't. Instead, I got Nathan McMillan laying it up on us again. Oliver Miller, why are you just standing there at half court? Ooh. All right. That's a skew. Okay, fine. Oof. Ugly. You're gonna leave me wide open. I'm gonna take it. Oh, 
McMillan totally faking us out. Three points already. It's not good. Ellis, shoot it! Three. Defensive breakdown, indeed. Not my best start. Not my worst either. Nice. Oh. I mean, not nice. You know. Although, you know, that's 90s basketball. Ugh. Flying. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Good work, Oliver Miller. Make him earn it. Why did you wait until there were three people standing there? Stoudemire with the rebound from way far away. All right, down seven, but down worse. See here, oof, not pretty. It's not pretty for us. All right, Brian Prakowski. Coming into the game. Favorite of Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. Sorry, I need to rest some people here. So, uh, Benet Benjamin will not be playing tonight. It's far too contentious for the game for that to happen. Um, he has requested a trade if you're interested in dictating where he goes. Check out the Patreon. Got a few offers. From a rough end, is an upside trip. So, I forgot to check actually about the post. To see if I got any blocks of Stoudemire. I don't think I did. Thirteen points. Three for ten from behind the arc. Brutal. No blocks. One steal. A little demoralizing. Guess since he's out, I'll go back to my traditional defensive formations. There we go. Murray, outside. Oh, three. Blocking the AI is tough, no matter what your NBA game you're playing. The thing is, though, those little pump fakes that they do, it seems like they telegraph way too much, which is why the AI is blocking itself so well. But maybe the AI is just blocking itself so well because it knows itself. Man, we've taken more shots than them and scored fewer. Usually it's the other way around. It's all right. Closing the gap. Hey! All right. And lead. Woo! First lead since early. Got some basketball excitement again. Playing defense again. Sonic's making sloppy mistakes. Three. Can't seem to ever get the positioning right to block. Yeah, I don't know if it's easier or harder in a 2D game. It's different. Oh, there we go. Ah. Had it, and then I lost it. Oh, Sean Kemp. Demonstrating why he's an all-star. Oh, Gary Payton. Demonstrating why he's an all-star. Get that out of there. Get that out of there again. Carlos Rogers. Double stuff. Oreos. Ace Earl. Ill-advised. 
Who's coaching this team anyway? What are they blind? Get him some goggles. Nope. Hey. All right. If they keep passing like that, we'll be okay. Oof. Brutal. Defensive rebounds, 11 to 3. Of course, we've also missed a lot more shots than they have, so, you know, more opportunity. Oh! Percy Hawkins. Pretty sure he was the guy I said I wasn't going to follow. Out of my arrested. Oh, I hit. Down again. It's gonna be a tough one. Might pick up our first L. Beating the Bulls and the Jazz. A Suns team that's doing much better in the game than they did in real life. Yeah, too many good. Steelers on this team. Ugh. I'm not going to give up yet, especially if they're going to give me the open lane. Trevor Ruffin. Just five shots behind, that's all. Not even. We're hitting from outside, and they are not. Oh, Trent fast on the reaction there. She'll not have the easy points. Hey, McMillan. Resume the position. Fast to me. There it is. There we go. Easy two. These steals are crazy. Yeah, I mean, Seattle did... Or I have to imagine they led the league in steals that year. I mean, they've got two of the all-time greatest uh, stealers, Gary Payton and Nick McMillan. In their lineup. As I recall, Hershey Hoggins was no slouch in that department either. Because every team's been a little different. I don't know if you pick up on that out there in internet land. Nice rebound, Ruffin. Good job. No! Oh, gotta make those. Wow! Bullet time pass. I'm speechless. I have nothing to say about that. If only there were an emoji for such situations. It was. I think. It was something. Alright. Starters will come back. Yeah. <laughs> Two emojis. That's a great. Thanks so much. Got my back on that one. my line. All right. Hey, about 50%. And they're below 70. So you know what? Progress. Uh, Maybe Gary Payton will foul out. That'd be nice. Uh, high percentage shot. We'll miss it. Get them. 
There we go. Kevin Stoudemire, for your consideration, Rookie of the Year. Fourth place in the league in steals, or not steals, in block shots. It's in the top six for steals. So. Charging, yes! Yes, Nate McMillan. Knock us down. And give us your ball. Oh! Get that out of there. So my wife asked me, are you going to watch Nostalgia Goggles stream tonight or play Shenmue? Had to tune in. Well, you know what? I appreciate that. This one's for you. Nope, that one wasn't for you. I thought it was going to be. Oh! This lineup is not working. They're taking us apart. All good. Everything is good. Let's get our stuff together here. Yes, Tracy Murray. Need help? All right. Nice. Lucky bounce. All right. Good pressure. Yes. Boo, oh, Carlos Rogers. That one's for you, Spitz the Great. Bought us that bucket just when we needed it most. Three. Close that gap. Close it. Yes. Nice. Keep that pressure up. So we make this three. Or we brick it really badly. Brick that one really badly. And we get the ball back. We shove Gary Payton. Nope. All right. At least I didn't extend it. Positive quarter. Intense. Good D. Thank you. We're going to get this back. Trevor Ruffin, 23 points off the bench. Bunch of zeros otherwise. Nick McMillan, 20 points off the bench. Did he start? I think he might have started. Much better from beyond the arc. That's five blocks still. None from me. The MVP trophy is named in honor of the late Maurice Podoloff. Who is he? That's a good question. That doesn't actually sound familiar. That's a, a guy. Good point. That's the greatest. He is a guy. Can confirm. It is halftime, so we will say thank you to Spitzer Great and our other patrons, Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder, 
Uh, thank you so much for your support. You allow me to keep doing this. I am humbled and forever in your debt. Um, there's also actual, excellent titles or epithets you've had. If you, any of you watching want to have your own, check out my Patreon. And if you do check out my Patreon, 10% of anything I pull in will go to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest, uh, doing research on eye diseases. Good stuff. Check them out, too. All right. I think I got to leave this lineup in because I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting with my starter spits. It's been bad news. Might even have to bring back the plus minus calculation just to figure out how bad it actually was. Start off the half. Right. Close game. Doctor Ambassador Dortmunder. Welcome. Hard to tell your player lock. Yes. I player locked on point guard for tonight so that I could get Stoudemire's blocks. Oof. Ah. Nice. Doctor, in case you missed it, the uh, goal at the beginning of the night was to um, move Damon Stoudemire closer to the top of the uh, league blocks leaderboard. Um, the goal has, the goalposts have shifted a little bit. The goal has become win the game. Uh, Seattle's been putting up a fight. I have forgotten how I need to play defense. You got the basket. Uh, yes, I am usually locked on shooting guard, um, which is where I've been playing uh, Tracy Murray and Dale Ellis, our two best three-point shooters. Our third and fourth best three-point shooters are Trevor Ruffin, who's in now, and uh, Damon Stoudemire, respectively. But Stoudemire is definitely where the diminishing returns uh, kick in. Great playmaker. Um, good at uh, penetrating in close shots. Not a, not a terrific out outside shooter in real life. Or yeah, push him out of bounds. Yes. I like a goal of have a fun time. But I think we've been achieving that. What do you think, Spitz? That's always the main goal, of course. There it is. Another thing that's been different tonight, uh, I can't dribble anywhere near them. Of course, Gary Payton, um, legendary defender, um, called him the glove because of his propensity to take the ball away from you. Oof. And then uh, several others too, Nate McMillan, also staunch defender. Chrissy Hawkins, I believe, was no slouch himself. Oof. Carlos Rogers, I think, has been saving this game for us. I don't know about plus my Well, I do know about plus minus. He's been on the court, but he's been getting a lot of clutch points. I don't know where we'd be without him. Whoa! Probably like that. It's about how we shot in the first half. Ugh! Can't throw bad passes either. They're making me making me work for it. I don't even think we're winning right now. <laughs> right. We are not winning right now. I'll rest I mean, these guys are full strength later. Worst part about all of this, Damon Stoudemire, so 17 points, you can see. Player lock has a way of plating your stats a little. Um, zero blocks, Damon Stoudemire. Crescent Messenger. I 
I'm also uh, several write-ups behind on my Patreon. Uh, usually I try to do the recap after each game, and last week it just wasn't even happening. Um, I'm, I'm just frankly glad that I even got to stream every day last week. It was brutal. Ugh. Get that. Nice. Ugh. Sean Camp out of nowhere. So there you go, uh, Spitz. You were saying earlier that you have a hard time uh, lining up uh, block shots. Sean Camp proves you don't need to be lined up. Just block that shot. I don't know why they're putting Kemp on Stoudemire. I mean, I guess it's working for them. All right, this is ridiculous. Anybody else see this? I put in this lineup and we just get taken apart. Brushing my shots. Ugh. Waited for the pick that time. Ugh. I got time out. Time out. I don't care how tired you you all are. You're coming back in. It was. We were down one, so they just went on a, an 8-0 run in not a lot of time. You have guys on the court and take a TO, do they recharge their energy? I don't think so. Not that I've noticed. Ugh. That's right, I can't do that. Oof. Three. Yeah, I really can't drill. Not against these guys. Well, so that might have been what you were noticing when you said I was rushing my shots. I have noticed that if you're moving from three, it seems like it's a little more likely to go in. Push him out of bounds. Yes. All right. Oh, Nate McMillan fakes us all out. I thought he was going to shoot it. Yeah, I can't dribble. I can't pass into the post. It's not good. Not a good situation. And if Trevor Ruffin follows out, that will also not be a good situation. Game is humbling, that's for sure. Three. All right. Let's climb back out. Far away up. This is not the most points we've trailed by, nor is it the latest in a game we've been down. Ugh. Can't leave him open. He's actually going to take him. Oh! Kemp showed up. Ugh! No! Uh, Hersey Hawkins. Three. Need a few more of those. using our own strategy against us. Three. Three-point shot disparity is nuts. Well, I'm from the future, and they are not, so I've got that going. And these guys have actually been shooting a lot. I've played games where 
Uh, people have only, teams have only shot like three three point shots the whole game, especially if they're winning. Like push them out of bounds. Ugh. We don't need that. All right, I'm gonna hope they're on the bench during the quarter break that they'll recharge a little more. pick but we'll roll with it not. Alright. Dormunder. MVP trophy is named in honor of the late Morales Podoloff. Who is he? Any thoughts? Nothing. Going once. Going twice. First commissioner of the NBA. That makes sense. All right. The inventor of trophies. Should have been easy. Should have been. Back to basics. The dream is dead. question is, can our shooting guards lead us from an 11-point deficit victory in the fourth quarter? Can Damon Stoudemire get some blocks when I'm not controlling him? Can Detlef Shrimp dunk on my head? Hopefully the answer to all of these questions is yes. Oh! That hurt. That physically caused me pain. Right about here. It's got to be better, that's all. Yes, thank you, Spitz, for that. The signature emoji of the air ball. I think I need one of those for this whole game. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do this. We'll find out. Might be our first L. Now I get a block. What? I don't understand what's happening. I'm just not meant to win tonight. The 
timeline's correcting itself. Get it together here. Your big scorer is even, yeah. Uh, I am now player locked on Tracy Murray, leading scorer in the NBA at the moment. There we go. Yeah, this guy I'm controlling is the same guy who made three threes in the first 40 seconds of the second half on Wednesday. Three. There we go. There it is. have to go with the starters. Hope they can get something together. So it wasn't just me then, he was actually behind the backboard. <laughs> I needed a break, this is demoralizing. It really is. Three. All right. Thirty five percent behind the arc. Brutal. Simply brutal. There it is. All right. Take that in. Very nice. There it is. There it is. Stoudemire. Beautiful. Keep the pace. Push him back. Uh, not like that. I meant beyond that. It's all right. Keep the run going. Three. All right. Lancer. 17 points in three minutes. I don't know. 
Given the pace of the game, I'm not sure that's even possible. Sam Perkins has uh, been pretty well tonight. He's actually one of the offers we've had for uh, Noy Benjamin. So uh, he could end up on our team. That's up to you. Taking out my frustration. least try. Who's having a better night tonight? <sighs> wow. Not Marie. Well, yeah, okay. Tell us. Ruffin, really. 44 points for him. And what's increasingly looking like a losing effort. See how it goes. Two minutes left. Got what? 21 points in two minutes. Can't dribble. This will be the first time I've lost a basketball in front of the entire internet. actually unfair well I mean in a sense you know we do have a yes Ruffin three all right we do have an expansion team roster uh, according to the game ranked worst in the league and this is one of the best NBA teams of all time by a lot of measures so in some sense, it might be more unfair that we beat the ball by a bigger margin than this. Or maybe the timeline just is resilient to changes, like those Final Destination movies. We were meant to die in those games. Or just correcting itself. There might be an intentional foul button somewhere. Yeah. So I don't actually want Ellis to foul out. Just at the follow him. That works. Nope. Follow him. There it is. Thanks, Trevor. Guess if I want something done, I got to do it myself. Ugh. 
There it is. Because then we need to actually get the rebound. <laughs> and then make the shot. There it is. <sighs> sure, you know what? Whatever. It's your own. Can't get any worse. All right. That is that. Stunned. No. 22 to 105, you know, bound to happen eventually. Thank you, Doctor. Valiant effort. Player of the game, Gary Payton. Only five steals, felt like more. 36 points. Man. I mean, that's the real story there. I mean, how many of the, if we'd shot, you know, 45% from three, I really thought you'd go undefeated. I, I thought I would too. But, you know, things don't always work out the way you plan. There are stats. So, let's see here. Uh, Dale Ellis still ended up with 18. Ruffin, 47. 21 for Stoudemire. Tracy Murray had an awful game compared to what he usually provides for us. Not for lack of attempts either. Our lowest field goal percentage of anyone who made a shot. Three points. Yeah. Really off night for everyone except Trevor Ruffin. In the end, it wasn't enough. It was absurd how many open threes I missed. It really was. I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought I was doing the same thing I've never had. Yeah, Stoudemire picked up a block. All right. So it wasn't a total loss. Other than in the sense that it wasn't a total loss. Highest foul count we've had by far. And Sonic's end. Gary Payton lighting us up. Nate McMillan also lighting us up. And once again, it's those point guards. McMillan, four for five from three. So that following them strategy did seem to work in terms of them missing free throws. Too little, too late. Summary. A lot of gray. Pickney did okay. Oliver Miller continuing to have a great field goal percentage. Yeah, it's a big old cluster of gray at the top of the key there. What did Pinkney have? Three for four. Not bad. Trevor Ruffin, the only one who had a normal game for us, pretty much. Murray, even bricked one underneath. Yeah. Brutal. So I only shot 39% from the field. Team as a whole, a little better. Not a lot. That is that. Yep. Wrong button. Alright. Save that series. Oops. Oh. Alright. Wrong button. Anyway, take a quick 
quick look at the standings here. We, of course, no longer undefeated. Uh, but it looks like Golden State lost, too. So, I guess it was just time. That makes me wonder if there's something in the game code, actually. Thou shalt not win 11 in a row. So, despite a five-point performance, Tracy Murray still barely hanging on to point per game lead. Really did feel like the game just said no. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really doing anything any differently. I, I didn't think. From three, I guess we can review the tape later. Figure it out. A field goal percentage, still up there, despite that cataclysm you all just watched. Ed Pinkney, leading the league in free throw percentage. Marianella is still up there for threes. Trevor Ruffin, now cracked. For a strong performance in the losing effort. Block shot, Stoudemire falls a little ways. Still up there. Thanks to me. Murray, Jimmy King. Still not on the assist chart, which doesn't surprise me. Alright, that is that. Uh, so tomorrow night, as you see, we'll be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, hopefully turning that trend around. And then on Wednesday, we'll head to Atlanta to see the Hawks. So that's tonight's game. Uh, not the outcome we could have hoped for, but you know, we're still at the top of the division, top of the league. I think we're doing pretty well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great night.